Hello tubers, we're here at uh, Windsor at the Gem and Mineral Show. This happens twice a year. I'm um, going to go in and have a bit of a look around, see if I can find some tools and uh, maybe some stones and some uh, findings. Let's go and have a look. So here we've got a whole heap of uh, mineral specimens. You're a mineral collector it's a good place to um, fill in your collection never seen a pyrite like that before this little box showing some fluorescing uh, characteristics of different minerals under black light amazing Here's some rough opal, it's been uh, slight, just lightly rubbed. Some chips for sale. Here's a nice blue stone, look at that. Here you can get wheels for rubbing and cutting. Nice antique tools. Hang on, Ev. Hang on, we're looking at crystals. Fingers out. Mum, 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 mum. Mum's here still. Got some American Civil War no. artifacts. No. Three ringers. No, 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 no. Been dug up by a metal detectorist. Whoa. That is an amazing sample. What are you going to do with that, mate? Let's put them up in my cap. That's that spot. I've pulled that and seen a spot. 
some wings and other stuff as well. We call this one a dead long legs, but it looks like one of their massive mosquitoes. It's almost got wings to me. Yeah, it does have wings. <laughs> Thirteen grand. Mm. Whoa. Whole jaw. Look at that big chunk of amber. Cool. Got a lot of amber. Mm. Opalized. That's cool. Oh, a crab. Mm. Seen that stuff when you put it under a black light? No. Yeah. Alright. It's pretty cool that stuff, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's neat, isn't it? Not chunky enough. He's a gentleman making a, what are you making, a ring? Yes, I'm making a ring. I'm going to put a, uh, a pearl in it. Oh, yeah? That pearl there, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And hopefully it's going to work. It's just a very simple one, just as a demonstration. Yeah. So I should be able to push that in there and the pearl. Yeah, nicely. Yeah. Focus. There we go. We're all in focus. We started off with, um, uh, with something like this one here yeah where we've had the four wires right and uh, I bound the four wires with a fine with a finer wire yeah until I chose a, a, an appropriate size and then bound a little bit at the top to hold it right. and then once you do that you open these ones out here so your claws accordingly um, yeah and then you bend them around until you come up with something like that if yeah. you want to do that and then you may well just glue a stone on the top of it like that mm. or you may wish to bend it around to hold the, the stone in a position such as that there so what's the wire you're working with um th this is just a craft wire which yeah, okay. is available like at spotlight yeah, and yeah. craft shops and that so, so it's an inexpensive wire right. um, if you were using a gold wire of course it's going to be like a gold plated wire or something it's going to cost a, a like an arm and a leg for that yeah. sort of stuff yeah. that's why just to, to do something uh, uh, small and simple we might use uh, just the artistic wire just as demonstration purposes right. but that's one a very similar style mm. um, where the where the uh, four pieces of wire uh, have been bound with the finer stuff mm. um, but what we've done is we put a bead through first or in this, this case a, um, a drill pearl oh, yeah, yeah. and uh, and bend and bend the uh, the the wire around the, the pearl mm. so that that holds the pearl in position and then it, when, when we've got the appropriate size this is an adjustable one see so yeah. um, we just uh, cut these ends off and just make a bit of a fancy end on them like that so that then you've got you've got a sort of a very very uh, fancy looking unit like that cool. there's one done with um, an amethyst and um, an amethyst and uh, black onyx bead right so lots of different ways you can you can finish up with the with the uh, ring by, by by doing the binding that yeah. way. Yeah. So um, just to give you a bit of an idea, you can join the club. We'll show you how to do that, mate. You're quite welcome to take a brochure anyway. Sure, mate. And uh, this is our wall wrapping. We'll teach you. That's just a very simple the uh, very simple piece to show you there. But this yeah. is we can teach you how to do the. The uh, wire wraps in brass or copper, or uh, or in the sterling silver, and we mm. teach any level. We'll, we'll take you through any level. Right. Here we go. I've come out with a little Colombian emerald. Oh, did you? I did. Only a little. A little silver ring, six claw, and some topaz. So we'll do a video where we put uh, that one of those into there and polish it up. Well, that was the gem show. Thanks for watching.